Best inexpensive mattress under $300 for a queen. Thanks for joining me for the Novella Mattress Review. Have you been looking for an inexpensive mattress for yourself, your guest room, a college student or extra bedroom? or maybe even the back of your truck or RV. If you want cheap and yet something that's pretty good, make sure to take a closer look with me at the Novilla Memory Foam Mattress. It is under $300 for a queen. It even beats the best-selling Amazon mattresses on price. Since we're calling the Novella an inexpensive mattress, let's talk about the price first. This queen is $299, and if you use my code and my link in the description, the price drops about $30 to $270, and it's going to ship to you free via FedEx. You can pay with it with a debit card, credit card, or PayPal. It's one of the few mattresses I've seen that lets you pay with PayPal. At the end of this video, I'll give you my impression and experience with the Novilla mattress. But let's get into the specs and guys, please subscribe to Unbox Mattress if sleep is important to you like it is to me. This is the 12 inch version and it's called the Bliss Memory Foam Mattress, which also comes in a 10 inch thick model. And they sent it to me for review. I already did an unboxing video of it. So if you wanna see what it looks like when it comes out of the box and if it had a smell or how long it took to get to full size, be sure to check out the Novilla unboxing video. I'll put a link to that in the video description. Right now, the 12 inch model only comes in full queen or king sizes but the 10 inch model has a twin size. So if you're looking for a cheap kid bed, this is a great option. One of the best I've found actually. A lot of parents transition their kids to a full size bed as they grow up. Now I'd never previously heard of Novilla, so I didn't have any opinion going into this review. And this is one of the best mattresses I've found for under $300. I mean, if you go to McDonald's, you can't expect a five-star restaurant experience. There are some things that are a little bit rough about this bed, but I think for the price, there are things that you can live with. When I talked about some of the irregularities, I wanna show them to you. Do you see that this is not flat? It doesn't lay flat on the frame right there. But by the time we get to the other side, it's completely flat. So it's another thing I noticed is the cover. Like I said, it's actually a pretty good cover. There's a line down the center, which I don't think is a big deal, but it seems like this side is slightly different than this side. Like the pattern over here is a little bit smaller. Um, okay, so let's go over to the side where we will look at the layers and how the mattress covers it. So this is not a cheap, awful zipper. It's a really easy zipper to unzip. And then it has these layers. And so what I'm gonna show you is if you notice the corners, they, they seem like they're sunken in here. And that's because these are actually waffle kind of layers. Like this is waffle foam and that adds some airflow. And it's also down here. So these two layers on the bottom are both waffle. And just so you get an idea, they actually are just kind of medium as far as firmness, both of them. I'm, I thought the core layer would be a little bit more firm than it is. They both seem about the same. And then you have this, looks like about maybe an inch layer, and then the top layer. Now this is the softest layer. You can see that my fingers are leaving an imprint and it's, it's gushy. But when I lay on it, it actually didn't get too hot or it didn't sink in a lot. I didn't really feel like it was super memory foam. They don't break down the exact layers, but I just wanted to give you a feel for what it looks like. It has this fire sock on it. I'm not going to cut that off. So anyway, that's what it looks like. Let's do the hand test. So it, it does leave an imprint. Comes back fairly quick. I am a side sleeper. I need some cushion on my shoulders and my hips. Okay, so now for back sleepers, oh, I actually think this one is the best. I'm a combination sleeper. Sometimes I will sleep on my back, for, but not for very long usually. And stomach. Okay. 
Novella in general is affordably, is an affordably priced brand. And if you're okay with getting a 10 inch mattress, it's even less. They have a twin 10 inch for only $159 before the coupon code. And it looks like other people are in on this secret because a lot of the mattresses are out of stock right now. And I wonder if the price will go up. So this is just the price at the time of this review. I also want to point out that they have mattress toppers. Now, even if all you could afford or wanted is a mattress topper, you really should check out Novella's because they have a two, three, or four inch topper. And again, they're inexpensive. Each topper in queen size is $137. That's very cheap. And they even have a cover on them. So you could add a topper on this bed or the 10 inch to make it softer or more firm. It comes in soft, medium soft, and medium firm. I just wanted to point that out because I haven't seen toppers that cheap with the cover before. But price isn't everything and you wanna know what you're gonna get for the cost. So here are some of the features of the Novella. Now normally to get this price, you're gonna to need to drop down to a thinner mattress that's maybe eight or 10 inches thick at the most. At 12 inches, you're getting a lot of mattress for your money. The weight, the weight of a queen is 51 pounds, which is about on par with other value brands and I think that's important because weight will give you an idea of quality. The mattress cover is made with bamboo to enhance the breathability. And it comes with a zippered mattress cover that's removable and machine washable. I think this is a big deal. When it comes to cheap mattresses, I worry about fiberglass. And if a mattress has fiberglass in it, it's usually on the tag and it won't have a zipper or the, it does have a zipper, but it won't actually work. So this is a good sign because you don't want to deal with fiberglass. It can be very expensive and bad for your health. Novilla offers a 30 night sleep trial, which for the price is pretty normal, but it's not as long as a lot of other mattresses that you find in a box. You get less time, but it should be enough, but you have a month to sleep on it in your own house on your own bed. And if you don't like it in that time frame, you can return it for a full refund. It has a 10 year limited warranty and that's all the details about the warranty are covered in a packet that comes with the mattress. It's inside the box in an envelope. And just be aware that if it has any blood tears or stains on it, it may not be covered by the warranty. As of now, they don't sell a waterproof mattress cover, but I'll put a link to my favorite one. That's a budget option in the description. You should want to protect your mattress anyway. It will make it last longer and it will be more sanitary. Okay, I'm gonna talk a little bit about bed frame. It does fit all bed frames or it can be put on the floor. I'm putting it on my Wayfair bed frame. Even though Novella doesn't send, sell a bed frame, I found a best-selling one on Amazon for a queen platform bed frame with a headboard for only $235. That's pretty amazing. So this is suitable. They say this is suitable for all kinds of sleep positions. I would be happy with this mattress and expect to get at least five years out of it, I'm hoping. It, I think it's pretty comfortable and I don't get that cheap mattress vibe. So thanks for watching, liking, and subscribing everyone. Would you get this mattress? Let me know in the comments. And if you have any questions, put those in the comments too. And if you buy a Novilla, be sure to use my link in the, and the code in the description to take 10% off. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.